Okay, Colin. I'd like to see a little hand bump as you pick your knees up. I think it'll help keep you in rhythm, right? As we talk about, it's like the string connected to your glove and your knee because you get your knee going up. I'd like to see your hands bump right there too to just stay in better rhythm. Your first movement isn't bad. I think we could get a little bit more of a movement forward. So we kind of put a line there. And you can see, see I'd like us to be gaining a little bit more ground. We do, we get some a little bit late but we get a lot down, right? I, I think if you went forward more instead of down, we would be better. Um, the biggest thing that I have that I would like to see you work on is firming out your front side. Because when we look, when our, when our, when our front knee is, um, excuse me, when our front foot is solid, right, you can see where your knee is. You're in a good position here. You're stacked up, your chin's over your belly button, your hand's inside your elbow. But if you watch your knee move from the time, okay, your foot is solid. Right now, watch how much your front knee slides. See how much it's moved, and now only is it firming out. It's just going to make your release point more difficult. We want to get it down, and I'll, I'll show you some examples when we have um, when we're in there on Monday. But from the time that we get down there, that's where we want to firm out. That's like what we worked on this past Monday. So our foot's down. Now our knee shouldn't move from there, and you can see how your knee drifts from about there to there before it firms out. And, and I'd like to see it hit the ground and firm out so that you have something to rotate against. Um, we'll talk some more in person about that on, on Monday. Good job with your glove though, it stays out in front, everything goes to your target well. But want to take out from here to there and work on trying to firm out that front side.